Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Angular video tutorial, we will see that how we can put the validations in the Angular form. So these are the points of the video. So guys, I am just going to continue my previous video. If you did not watch our previous video till then, I am just going to recommend you that you have to watch because the basics of uh, this video start from the previous one. All right. So because if I am just going to put ever everything in a single video, then video can be gonna very very lengthy. That's why I just break it the in the two parts. So we will see that how we can put the email validation, how we can put the mem, man and uh, min and max validation, how we can just use the Rizx for validation or you can see that the pattern or how we can just disable if any of the field, uh, button disable if any of the field is not valid yet, all right. So let's look out, look out the code. You can see that the code is here and we just provide some little bit of the style here. That's why you are just seeing that red and some color here all right so you can see that style is here so let's just go through with the previous week uh, previous uh, stuff so we have a form with the id of this and it will just submit with the on submit function uh, with just the this form value and we have the two field yet one for the email and which uh, and the second one is the password and till now we are only applied the validation only on email and how we just apply it now you can see that we just provide the required because we just provide the required and email id is uh, connected with the ng model then it will just uh, provide the email validate and email is touch touched means if you are just put inside uh, something and just remove it and just go outside you can see that uh, after just checking out the inside of input field you just uh, focus out all right this that mean the touch all right and validate means this field is that validate then it will just show the error like this in the red color all right so now let's continue the stuffs so first of all i am just going to put here some uh, validation uh, on the password all right so for that first of all as you know that i have to define that if this is required or not so a uh, password is obviously required that's why i can just put here required now let's define the name of it so let's say the field is with the name of password and let's assign the ng model to it after that we can also define the min value how we can just define the min value for that you have to use the min length and all right it's not min it's a min length In the min length we can just show let's say three character all right so now let's try but before that we also have to just define the uh, red line here like this is uh, error message is here for that we have to use this password password dot valid and password dot touched and we also have to just see that password field is not valid like this like this now let's see are we able to achieve now you can see that yes if i'm just going to put here some character now you can see that password field is uh, not fulfilled and that's why it's just showing the error if I'm just going to put here uh, and validate it after the three characters then this is working fine all right so now let's see that how we can just provide the email validation so email validation is pretty easy in the angular just define your email property here and you will find that this is working as an email all right if I'm just going to try some test and all then it will just still that email id is required because we have to just change the message here you can just write right email is not valid like this yep so now let's try if i'm just going to put here like test and come outside then it will just email it is not valid test at the rate test.com now this is valid all right this is the way that how you can use the email validation so now let's see uh, add the one more field with the name of uh, let's say uh, address all right so i'm just going to put here address and let's change the name of complete address and all type can be text here all right yeah and after that uh, we can just provide some more validation more name like name can be also address and in the placeholder we can put the address like this right address field is not valid like 
okay now all right and we have to just define the name id of the field also or address so that it can just check the address stored invalid and address stored touched now let's try to see but here you can see that we already provide some required and all these things so i can just remove for a moment like min width all right so here uh, this is uh, uh, looking like valid but let's say we just want to provide only uh, alphabetic characters inside the address so for that we can use a pattern so just write here pattern and pattern i can be like uh, small a to z and capital a to z all right pretty simple and let's say we are also lying the space here and we can just use a star here all right so now if i am just going to trying to put here some numeric value then it will just show me that the ad uh, address field is not valid if i just put here like daily then this is fine noida is also fine if i just put here noida one two three then this field is invalid pretty simple all right so now let's say we can how we can apply the max and min uh, validation together so for that let you just want to take the other field then you can also take here but if you just want to do the same thing in the password then this is also possible if i'm just going to put here max validation max length in a password then we can also do like if i just provide here 10 character maximum then it will not show the error on the maximum in the field but it will just stop to typing in the character like so if i just put here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and if i'm just going to put here 1 uh, let me check what's wrong with it okay we have to choose max length right so if i am just going to try to put here character more than 10 this is not possible here you can see that right this this is just freeze me here this is the way that how you can put the maximum length also but now email field is invalid but i can submit here but how would i stop it for that you just have to check that your form is valid or not till till yet so for that you can just check here uh, this is my form all right and if i just check my form name is valid or invalid then i can just obviously disable or enable it so let's see how we can check so this is my form name and on here i can just simply check here disable and we can just bind a property with it like uh, form dot invalid if this is invalid then it will be uh, disabled all right how now you can see that our two fields are invalid that's why this is disabled so if i just put here test at the rate test.com and if i just put here password like one two three four then this is the valid and we can just submit it all right if i'm just going to remove the password then we are not able to submit that's the way that how we can use uh, the complete form validation with the angular if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care